We've given it, we've sold all our privacy. We don't have any privacy anymore. So anyone could go online right now and find out if you stole something when you were three. I mean, it's awful, isn't it? Like, I feel like the world, our, our, our country is better when, like, you and me and everyone, every once in a while, got away with a little shit. Just a little shit, you know? Like, it used to work better that way. I think 20-year-olds should be able to have fake IDs. The world worked well that way. It used to be that if you had a lamination machine, the world was your oyster. You could, you could fucking buy missile launchers from Russia if you had a lamination machine. But now they got holograms and shit, you know? I think you should be able to run a toll booth once a month without some asshole robot taking a photo of your license and sending it to the government. Which brings me to another Another point, we were promised cool robots. Why do they all work for the man, huh? They all work for the fucking military, the government. What, are, the, are the benefits that good, R2-D2? Come on. We were promised good robots. I think we should be able to get away with a little shit. I think you should be able to lie a little bit in a job interview without the boss going online and finding photos of you doing meth in college, you know? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Which brings me to another point. Cameras are too small. They're too, you don't even know when they're in the room now. You know, like, like we should go back to the old Wild West cameras that were like on a tripod and a dwarf would come in and set it up with a curtain and pull a chain and the whole thing would catch fire. Like, because when we had cameras like that, no one was surprised to see a photo of them licking whipped cream off a burlesque dancer. You know, you knew. Get away with lying and falsifying were the grease that oiled the gears of America. Now that no one gets away with shit, look, our economy's in the crapper, the auto industry's down the tubes, and average guys like me can't pick up a girl in a bar without her going on her phone and now finding out, oh, you're not a well-respected lawyer in Hawaii. You know? You're a dog walker in Brooklyn. <laughs> One minute later, she's asking you why you only got a two-star rating on RateYourDogWalker.com. It's not fair. So this, uh, we're getting crazy with the technology. Someone told me there's a website now where you can go online and type in your neighborhood. It'll show you a map of your neighborhood with a red dot for every pedophile. And look, those guys are the biggest sleazeballs in the world, but why only pedophiles? You wouldn't want to know if, like, a murderer was in your building. You, you wouldn't want to know if O.J. Simpson was downstairs or Donald Rumsfeld next door, you know? You wouldn't want to know. What about attempted murderer? That's just a guy who tried to kill someone and sucked at it. You know? Yeah, he might not kill you, but if he stabbed you 44 times with a plastic spork, it's going to sting like a bitch, all right? I'm, I'd rather have a real murderer, someone who takes pride in their work and gets the job done. You know? What about road ragers? You want to know if road ragers are in your neighborhood? Because that's the gateway for crime to graffiti penile art. You know? And, and graffiti penile art is the gateway crime to cat fucking. And what kind of cat owner would I be if I didn't keep one eye out for the cat fuckers? You know? And before... Before you know it, you go online, you type in your neighborhood, it's covered in red dots, you know? Oh shit, there's 19 dog fondlers in my district alone! I, I just don't know if that's the answer. And, and, and how do we know that pedophiles aren't using this website to find their friends? You know, and create like an army of pedophiles, an unstoppable platoon of pederasts with their kitty porn and their cotton candy and lollipops, you know? Boy, of unmarked vans stopping up all the streets. It would, the city would shut down. There'd be no more gym coaches or puppeteers, you know? No more candy store employees or parties. Nowhere to get a decent caricature. I'm just saying. Hey, guys, check out recamp.net. Thank you, guys.